general. I only have 16 tradition. Do I dare give it to my nobility? Well, let's prey on our better general. It's not bad, actually. Fairly good, I'd even say. So come on, you bloody Swedes. You might have Swedish steel, but you don't have these pimpin' sealskin coats. Get the hell out of my country. Goddamn Surstrom chugging pathetic fools. That's right, scurry back to Skåne. Mm, oh shoot, more English. That's just what I didn't need. Oh shoot, a lot more English. Uh, hey Muscovy, I know you really like Finland, but could you really like helping me? England, military. Ten. Okay, I slightly beat you there, but my armies are a little bogged down. But you are generalless. The best I can do is hunt you down and. Oh shoot. Get back here. Limey buggers. Praise the damn seal. No, you don't get out that easy. Get back here, you cur. Oh, hello, Sweden. Goodbye, Sweden. East Frisia, no time for your malarkeys. I'm out of here. He's got two maneuver just like me, but thankfully we are slightly faster. And if he wants to nibble on anything, he can enjoy st- ah, shoot. He's slightly faster. Damn, he's fast. Bloody Swedes, would you get out of my bloody home? Eat a bloody rotten fish. was a nice try, but we couldn't quite make it there. Sure, Holland, it's all yours, but I do like how they are just coming for me. Right, well, as soon as that fort goes down, they should hopefully start making a march to somewhere that will assist me ever so slightly. Oh, that's bad news. That is good news, at least. That's a fair chunk of uh, Norwegians. But oh dear, this isn't good at all. Even if I hide out in Norway, that's bad news for me. Those guys probably know that they can destroy me with good reason. Basically, I have very few places to run. But... If there's one thing I can do in life, it is run. Hmm. It's risky. Not all my army can get on that boat, and even if they do get on the boat, the furthest they can make it is Hueland, or perhaps Bohuslen, and meet up with the Muscovites. Might just have to cut my losses there, to be honest. We'll do what we can, then. Kiss your loved ones goodbye. So we're getting on that boat. Rest of you, probably not going to survive, I'll be honest with you. Ah, shoot, they, they are gunning for me. Phew. Can't trust those English, I don't know what they're going to be up to. Thankfully, they're still involved in that other war. And thankfully, they have some pretender rebels, which might just discourage them here. But we need the Tanis War to end so that the Ottomans can help us out. We also do not need Golden Horde Separatists screwing things up around here. Please don't sell me out, Muscovy. I would not like it. Maybe we can uh, do a number on the Swedish fleet doesn't look good for us, to be honest. I'll probably just back them up, but I have to try something. Hmm. 
Right, I'm stuck here. If they uh, decide they want to kill me, then they're going to kill me. They don't. They want to get away, which is good. Gives me a second chance at getting you the hell out of there. Yeah, it was kind of a given that these guys were going to die. I mean, they might survive. It's not... Not unheard of. I'm starting to think it's a little unheard of. Hmm, they must have rolled really well, actually. They're still going. <laughs> but not going enough. Okay, but at least we have an attack force over here. Always a fight for survival, this damn campaign. It's a lot of fun, though. I cannot deny that. Still, I really need to end this war so that the Ottomans can become involved on our side. Hmm. Could I? Just maybe? Doesn't look so good for me here. I would rather retreat slightly and get my uh, armies back up or my navies back up. But uh, getting them on. Oh, jeez. The Muscovites have divided themselves too thin. So many units, but they're all stranded at home. Well, let's work our way up north. Because that isn't going to go well for them. Okay. They've been fools and left themselves unguarded. Then again, I think we've all been fools up to now. Jake removes Morsgorpur. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of good that I still have my navy. They weren't wrecked like in a uh, similar campaign or a similar part of my campaign that I don't particularly want to remember. So the Muscovites are moving in for the kill here. Or at least trying to. Godspeed. I did lose a... Oh, shoot, I didn't mean to do that. But I did. Those units may well come my way, so let's get out of there. I need... Uh, need my friends to help us out a touch. But this is kind of good. I can get Hoyland back. Losing Hoyland is a big loss to my, uh, well, my economic arm, since it's a center of trade. But goodness sake, Tunis, I need you to not be in this war. And by extension, get the Ottomans on our side here. Because the Ottomans here are scary. Or at least they would be if they were on our side. Scary for them. I also want these Norwegians to make their way into Sweden. That would help us out in a big way. I also think these guys are probably not going to last, but I got to do what I got to do. Um, we'll get the galleys just to do that. And we'll see if I can do something with you. Get on it. Oh yeah, man, I'd forgotten about Austria entirely. Yes, I certainly need Austria to not be involved here at all. In any way, shape, or form. Also does tie up the uh, English Navy, which we should be uh, more thankful about than we really are. Also wish I had a few more units up here so I could assist the Norwegian Separatists. Looks like... What do we have here? You guys are into Stockholm. It's almost as if you're scared of the Muscovites. Don't know why you would be. Well, we may as well press the advantage if there is indeed one to be had. Hmm. Doesn't look great for our army, but... We need to de-siege Holstein. Or at least try. Okay, so Muscovy, there's one thing you're having to not do, and that's attack the Norwegians. It's not something I would often request of someone, but please don't attack the Norwegians. They're there for our benefit.
I wonder. Yeah, that's not helping at all. My diplomats hanging around doing nothing isn't helping either. Let's keep things sweet with my best friend. Jake, is Austria disloyal towards Britain? That would be funny, but I doubt it. Yeah, their liberty desire is 28.2, so nowhere near it. It'd be a crying shame if somebody were to uh, disturb them into wanting some independence there. Alright, so we managed to get Hoyland back, which is lovely. Now we're also a little stuck there, so let's get you back. Actually, that's a Swedish navy that could do with not being there. You're docked up in LOL land. Let's take care of that. Hmm, but there are a lot more Swedes right there. Forget it. Abort, abort. Blimmin' Swedish semen. So much blimmin' bloomin' and all that blimey, but what can I do? And where are they? They seem to be spreading out over there, which is not what I was wanting, to be brutally honest with you. But the Swedish uh, war enthusiasm is already waning. We'll win this war, don't you worry. Might even be home in time for Christmas. Alright, so it seems the Swedes think they can take on the Livonian order. Hmm? I'm beyond confused what's going on. Why would you want to fight Manostopoten? Ah, we'll see. Probably not going to go too hot with for them, to be honest. But, uh, yeah. We'll do what we can, because we must. It's good that we have that backup general and a PP to afford it. With over uh, 25 PP, you can get an extra general without paying upkeep. Always good for us. It's also good that the Swedes are focusing over there. Yeah, when their capital falls, it's going to be a huge hit to their war enthusiasm. And uh, look at that, I have done almost all the war participation. Muscovy is going to want to reward me greatly. I do genuinely worry that they're going to give me loads of land and, uh, you know, give me all that uh, aggressive expansion to boot. Still, it is what it is. Austria, now is far from the time. What are you even doing there? Uh, manpower isn't too big of a deal, but what I'm going to do here is send in the mercenary. So he arrives the day before other people, and then I'm going to send two other units in. This might just work. Oh, it's going to be almost difficult to see because of this, but... Uh, Basically, my mercenary is opposite his one unit here, and when my other two join in, they flank. It means the mercenary is taking all of the damage here, and my real infantry are not going to take any, so it's only going to cost me money. There's no manpower loss here at all. It was only 52 men, but I don't really worry about that, and I'm happier that I lose mercs instead of real men. Well, as real as Danes can be. Jake, set Sweden's uh, southern provinces as desired. Oh, trust me, I desire just about everything there. Just making sure that nothing I desire overlaps with Muscovy. I cannot lose this alliance or else the PLC is going to smoke me. Going to roll me up and smoke me. Still going to grab what we can here since I'll, it's minus 10 on paper, but... Sweden is the one that's burning here. One does not simply tap out Russian manpower unless Grugi is playing as Russia, in which case all bets are off. This is good though. This is exactly how a war should be fought. Hmm? Mm. It's actually gaining war participation for sieging down Stockholm. War should be fought is maybe not what I'm trying to get at here, but the point is... I fight at my best when, I, when my back is to a wall. It's most enjoyable, and it's what I play this game for ever since I started playing Europa Universalis and Grand Strategy in general. Gotta squeeze every goddamn penny. Speaking of putting a squeeze on, Muscovy, maybe you and Lith 
Luanian, uh, Luanian order could bring the pain. Also sitting on that free diplomat, I don't like that. Maybe, just maybe, the Ottomans and I could start seeing eye to eye. No, that's foolish. I have to prepare for the potential that uh, my good friend Muscovy could give me perhaps a little too much land. So that means Munster. Uh, that might not be worth it since they already hate my guts. I need to find independent people that would be a threat to me if they were to join a coalition. Which in the HRE is pretty much anybody since they... Uh, good enough. Since they're small with high development and that can really bring the pain. Just get Stockholm, the entire war will follow. And this is good, they should be able to save Viborg at this rate as well. And I can enjoy the occupation of all these little places. What are you doing there? Looks like you're running away. I know how to deal with people that run. Maybe not that many of you, but... We'll see how this goes. Oh, shoot, no, you're meant to be out, not there. Hello! Don't kill me. I'm here to kill you. Gotta time this one well. Welcome to die! God damn Swedes. The only thing you know how to do in a war is to look pretty, you irrelevant country. Get back in your little shack. Blockade efficiency plus 40%, mother lovers! Had absolutely nothing to do with that outcome. But I'm getting behind it anyway. What happened to the Norwegian separatists? They're doing their own thing. And they're doing it quite well. Gotta hand it to them. Whew, that was kind of fun. I do want to take uh, production efficiency and development cost, but I may need this admin for uh, coring. Because I strongly suspect Muscovy is going to give me land. <laughs> Swedish police knocking on Jake's door. No, no, no. They're uh, far too inclusive for that. The amount of casual racism I put up with this country actually is baffling. So don't believe the lies about, uh... Holy smokes, they gave Stockholm to me! Damn, Muscovy, I love you. Well... To a degree. Not a big degree. If they were to give me any of this land, I would need to occupy it first, and I kind of want to. You'll be ready very soon, actually, and I can't just, uh... Oh, well, yeah, sure, why not? Why the hell not? Goddamn sweets. There we go. I'm just cancelling these unit productions. Unfortunately, they're they're going super fast. This will delay Hamburg slightly, but it's acceptable. It's worth it. And yes, I expected these to pop out. Oh, right. I have to not set that Norwegian province as desired by me, because I want the uh, the Swedes to have to deal with the Norwegians. I might have a claim on it, but I really hope they don't. Eh? You are in no position to be putting uh, demands on me, young man. Ottomans? Yeah. Well, at least they're putting the boot into Austria. Sogging. What a pathetic name for a province. A lot of pathetic in this uh, region. You know what, we're, we're quite happy sitting there. And this is also acceptable. The Muscovites have done enough heavy lifting in this war. I'm rather delighted that they would like to go and fight my rebels for me. 
Especially when they do so, so well. Damn, that Muscovite, uh... Damn, they've evened out the war participation here quite a lot. Here I was thinking I was doing a damn good job. Our fleet is too good not to join in. Oh, oh damn. Hmm. Sure hope you've got another round in you, Livonia. Yeah, it's kind of on our side, but we have taken a fair beating. To be honest, I don't want to lose my fleet to this. And he is confident enough to back it up, so as soon as I can, I'm getting out of there. Don't want to lose my fleet. Livonian order not being so strong on uh, on the waters is no bad thing for me. Since when it comes down to it, uh, GB will smack us both down. So, Sweden are certainly not wanting in this war anymore. We don't have much war score, but we have a fair chunk. And I'm getting that familiar stage of high war exhaustion. Where have I been here before? Blooming East Frisia. Coming at me as they do. And they still want us to uh, to lose out. Yeah, to be fair, our, uh, our war score is dreadful, but that's because they have... Um, occupied one of our two forts. Hilariously enough, Norwegians are spreading. And Skåne is mine. The uh, Muscovites will probably come along and stomp these other forces. Whilst I... Well, I would love to help out there, but I have provinces to take back before the uh, the rebels defect automatically after a certain period of time they will I have no problem with this defecting though no problem at all would give me my Cassis oh Scotland it's the worst thing about Scotland dreadful population of Scots Actually, I'm feeling a little preoccupied here, to be honest. So I need to get Hamburg back into uh, my clutches. 14% sounds good enough to me. There we go. Ah, feels good. Feels damn good. No longer uh, knocking on heaven's door. Don't know why I'm sieging this down. My fort will take it back automatically. And I think the Livonians are going to take care of the Frisians. I would if I were them. Oi. Away with you. Ah, maybe I should take matters into my own hands. Even though we have no cavalry for flanking, we should be okay. It's also good to see the nobility declining since I did give and bring them dangerously high, so that's good news for me. That's rather tempting, but... Mm. <laughs> Made that mistake before. Wasn't England's AI improved? It did mostly nothing in this. England have also been involved in a war against the Ottomans and Tunis. Oddly enough, the Ottomans have not gotten involved yet. I wonder if they will be called in. Muscovy is still allied with them, and they have every reason to join in. That's a spirit. If you can't out-anything them, get the better rolls. It's also nice that these Swedes actually cannot proceed here. They don't have... Ah, oh, shoot. Ah, oh, shoot. It's like they're saying, did someone ask for some austerity measures? Or something witty like that. Okay, we'll see what they're doing, because they could well come for me, and that would be... Oh, would you get the hell off of Hamburg? I just want to core the bloody province. Jake, it's been too long after the start of the war for the authors to join. Not true. It's a defensive war. That kind of rubbish does not apply. They could be called in as soon as... 
Must we have the good sense to bring them in? Let's get our, uh, our troops back down there. Doing not too shabby on the manpower or the money front, so I can be satisfied with this. And honestly, I think... Uh, hmm, what do I think? England are only medium interested in this war. They could probably be separate beasts quite soon. Unfortunately, Austria scored an, a lucky early uh, breakthrough on my fort there. This, this is what I really love about this campaign, though. We're almost a hundred years deep, and I am at the mercy of people around me. I mean, this is just Sweden we're talking about. And they are hanging me high and out to dry. I just have to hope that uh, things go better in Midtjylland than they do, uh, well, anywhere else. Hmm. Muscovy declared war. Wait, what? Well, I'll be damned. Don't know how I kept missing that. I'd simply assumed that Sweden were the bloodthirsty ones here. You know, it's in a Swede's blood to be aggressive. They're monsters, really. Don't know if you ever met a Swede, but... Whew. do love money, and I do love the merchant guilds, but nobility cannot be bought. Okay, it's going swimmingly here. Just have to hope the Hamburg doesn't uh, have tragic things happen to it. At least uh, Muscovy and I... No, I have got the greatest war participation here. It's probably not going to stay that way since they are still sieging. But I'll do what I can here. Also welcome to die, you god damn Swedes. Stop enriching my life with brilliant healthcare, an amazing transport system, and genuine caring about my well-being. Ain't nobody needs that. Okay, there we go. That'll be the end of the uh, Austrians with a bit of luck. Particularly if I... Ah, East Frisia, would you just go away? This is actually really bad. Could you attach to me here? Really appreciate it. Please, Hamburg. Jake, improve relations with your neighbors. I keep forgetting about my poor diplomats. Well, there is no turning back with you. Yeah, fairly good with Saxony. Brandenburg, there's no no hope. This is kinda nice, so I could get an alliance with you, but I'm already I'm already one over the limit and you are a bit tiny. Improve relations where we can. It's a shame that uh, Munster has to hate me so for that broken alliance. I think we can uh, smooth things over a bit. Oh, then the English are back. Why are the English back? With a bit of luck, though, I can... No, I thought maybe I could get the uh, Austrians goaded here. Oh, yes, there we go, there we go. Due to our von Oh, I don't like the look of that. That could mean that they give nothing to me. Muscovy, you didn't help me at all. This was your offensive war and you gave me nothing. Granted, that is better than then giving me loads of stuff, and now I have a load of favors with you, so I can use you in offensive wars as I see fit. But there is the uh, danger of them turning on me. So what we're going to do is actually increase that trust by a nice chunk, so that they remain my good friend. There is the trouble that they turn hostile, though. Ah, oh, they see my land as strategic utility. How nice. Okay, well, we can't complain too bitterly. We survived. We didn't lose anything. They didn't sell us out the river. 
did lose a bit of our uh, 